Okay, to create our own um, sprites to use in our games, the first thing we're going to do is open up um, Photoshop. Then we're going to bring in a sprite. Now, so uh, the image files can be from anywhere. They can be photographs you've taken. They could be images from Google, but we need to bring one in first of all. So I've got a picture of a teddy bear that I got off Google, which is on my desktop. And at the moment, this is a JPEG format. It doesn't really matter. But if I check the image size, you can see that it's 268 pixels wide by 291, which is no good for what we want. So later on, we're going to need to change the size of it. What I'm going to do first of all, though, is I'm going to actually um, go into the, my layers, and I'm going to double click on the little um, lock, and I'm going to take and click OK. And I've taken the lock off, which basically means now I can get rid of the backgrounds. I want to make this white area transparent. So when I see my teddy bear and game maker, I only see the, get the, the teddy bear and not all of the white area. So I'm going to choose my um, selection tool, quick selection tool, and I'm going to choose and highlight that white. And all I've got to do is press the delete button on my keyboard, and you see that these selected areas go to this checkerboard effect. If they're checkerboard like this, this grey and white, it basically means they're transparent. And that's what I want to do. So my teddy bear is transparent. I'm going to press Control and D to deselect, and you'll see it's taken away now those marching ants, the selection around the object. All I need to do now is to make my um, my teddy bear the right size. So I'm going to choose my cropping tool. Um, once I've selected my cropping tool, I'm just going to check in the settings that I've got mine switched to classic mode, which I have there. I've got a tick on classic mode. That's the best way to use it at the moment. And what I want to do is I want to go up into my box, and I want to make mine 32px by 32px, so I'm making it the same size as the existing um, images or sprites that we've been using. And I'm just going to slightly drag that down to make sure the whole of the teddy bear is inside that cropped area. And when I'm happy, I'm just going to tick here. Now I need to save it. I'm going to choose PNG, so I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to choose from the drop-down list and choose the one called PNG. Okay. I'll leave it the same name, I'll even leave the same location for now because it's a different file format, this is PNG not JPEG, so I'll hit save. Leave it on smallest and on none for interlace, which means it's got a, a nicer edges to it, and click OK. So now if I actually look on my desktop, I'll drag it up here so we can see it. Okay, you can see now the original picture, it's got the white background and it's bigger, the new one my PNG is smaller and it's got a transparent background.